welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on how I made this. Um, I used to go to the reservoir a lot and I haven't been there in a while so in my mind I remember it when it was more of a spring day so I kind of incorporate more of like a winter theme to it. So um, if you don't know where Manasquan is, and I live in Howell, New Jersey, um, you can look up the, the Manasquan Reservoir and you should see like a lot of beautiful pictures and you'll see somewhat of a similar um, picture to this. Um, I believe I actually took a picture not that long ago of where I was walking um, at the time. It looks very similar to this and it really stuck out to my mind just now. So. Um, I decided to paint it. Um, I'm using I'm using um, watercolor painting paper, um, and this is a nine by twelve painting paper. So I didn't really sketch this out. If you want, you can pause this and kind of sketch it out. If you would like to do that, that's totally fine. Um, the paints I was using for this, uh, for the sky, I used the mixture of these two together. This is turquoise, light turquoise, and sky blue. I mixed them together for the top part. Then I added in between a dark titanium white. Now I know that sounds weird, but I just added very little in the middle part and then turquoise towards the bottom and then I blended it together um, I just finished this painting so uh, forgive me for my, my dirty brushes but uh, I used a makeup brush like this of course it was dry and much cleaner <laughs> and um, I used it as dry and I blended those colors together nicely and it made a really nice um, sky. Sorry. It made a really nice sky um, and as well as the water too. So I focused on the top part and then the bottom and then I started working on my trees where I would have them and same for the um, you know, the, the shadow, the reflection at the bottom. So those are the colors I worked for for the sky. Um, light turquoise and sky blue and dark titanium white. Now for the trees, I started out with black, of course, for the background. And I used, um, and of course I'm gonna be showing you this as you know, the video goes forward, um, the techniques I used for it, you can go along with it. I'm probably going to do a time lapse on the video itself, so um, I'll try to do a little bit uh, slower so you can follow along. Um, if you need to take more time, make sure you pause it and do what you have to do. Um, I use just a regular paintbrush like this and put a little black paint and for the the background itself of the uh, painting, I started out with a technique where I would just go from bottom to top and then vice versa to the bottom. And that's the trees in the distance. Then I started using my fan brush for the black, starting out with um, for the leaves, the distance leaves, and then I came in with. Um, lighter colors so I used um, this is an evergreen so I used evergreen for the um, some of the leaves you can't really see much of them because I covered them with snow but um, if you do look closely you can see little pops of green and that was the whole point because normally when you look in the forest you're gonna see different colors different shades nothing is gonna be exact um, I use just an orange as well. Um, there's still uh, fall leaves up, so, and I noticed that when I was walking around that there's still fall leaves up. They haven't, some of them haven't fallen down. 
so I incorporate that as well and then I added some deep yellow and then I just went over and this is all with the fan brush and I made sure it was dry too and the end of my fan brush I have a thicker fan brush I I can't tell now because it's wet. I'm soaking them. I have to clean them. Um, I took the bristles and I just pulled them back where it was more fluffier. And the leaves would look more far apart than rather than close up like this. So of course the brush was dry and the, my brush was sticking out a little bit more and it was much easier to make those um, leaves. And then I have a smaller brush, fan brush that I did that as well with. And I, I mostly use this for the snow because I wanted to go too heavy on the snow so I want some of those colors to, to pop out. As you can see there, there is some colors in the back. Some dark over here, light over there, but there is a lot more white than there is dark because there is a lot of snow here in New Jersey. So I was trying to kind of like make it look as, as what it is right now. So that's what I did with that, and so when I moved after that, I started working on this area. In this area, I just took white and black paint and I kind of mixed them a little bit together to make a road. Um, right over here. First, it started out to be land, and then I uh, my paint is still wet. <laughs> so okay, I'll fix that. So. Yeah, that's what I did. I, I um, worked on my road, then I started adding some other details to it, and you'll see in the video all those details of what I did. And I tried my best to show you each brush and each paint that I was using at the time. I'm sorry if it's a little uh, choppy or um, a little too fast. But uh, this is what I came up with, and I think it's very beautiful, and it goes great for the season, and all the snow, and it gives you a different look at it, you know, it's very beautiful, it's, you know, a lot of people hate the snow because you gotta drive it in, and you gotta shovel it, but then you take a moment and you look at something like this, and you start to enjoy just the season that you're in, you know, so... I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that if you do like this please hit like, comment, subscribe so I know that you like this painting in particular and I can make more like this one. Um, yeah, so um, just let me know and I will be glad to make more and um, I hope to see you next time and uh, let's get started.